we are I have switched to the switch as it were uh, and I'm going to be playing some Final Vendetta I have been playing a lot of Victory Union by the way and really loving it it's exactly as goddamn complicated as I, I remember it to be but it does work slightly better on a switch just in terms of mostly quality of life uh, there's a lot more places you can save and it just it loads things faster the control placements are slightly less confusing although still pretty confusing <coughs> and uh, yeah it's still got really awesome music really awesome art it's an interesting strategy game it's got its own very idiosy idiosyncratic system and Vivid Night's just a really stupid kind of game adapted, clearly adapted from a phone. But it is kind of fun. It's uh, kind of a roguelike, very uh, anime graphics. Uh, you choose, sort of got its own system of turn based. You messed. Your characters are gems and you combine them and, and it, it's got a bit of a, uh, a gacha thing going on but it's not that annoying so it's, uh, it's just all a bit random really yeah that's fun and this is Final Vendetta and this is like <coughs> an indie game that is a final fight with the serial numbers filed off Final fight, slash Streets of Rage, it's a bit loud, I turned up Nayuta because it's flip, a flipping Nayuta, I'm just going to turn this down a little, It has amazing music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it has the yeah, yeah, yeah. annoying, in my opinion, feature of Eden Yeah, 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 yeah. No fucking normal mode. Uh, I didn't. I've been practicing on easy. I will show up how. I can go through most of the game on easy. It is quite loud. Uh, is that better? Can you hear me now? So yeah, I... I, uh can play as all three characters fairly competently. Uh, this one's the heavy character. 
guys to kind of a... Duke is the light character and the... I can't remember the lady's name. She's, uh, she's the long reach character. This is Millet. And I'll show you why I like Miller so much in a minute. If I can, uh... That's why I like Miller. That fucks look fucking savage. So does that, but the uh Yeah, he's he's kinda of... He's a pro wrestler in his spare time and he, he does some very scary looking things. Especially when he gets in close. Also, all of the characters can stomp the Stomp people when they're down, and it's hilarious every time. Another cool thing about this, it's in England. Very few games... <laughs> See, very few games set in England. I think that thing in the back is either a corgi or a very small fox. Or a weird looking cat. Yeah, hence the rain. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to go, go away. What do you think? Cor Corgi, small fox, or weird looking cat? <laughs> that does, look, does as much damage as it looks like it does as well. Urban fox. Very small for a fox to me. Uh. There's an advert for Xeno Crisis. I have not played Xeno Crisis yet. I did pick it up uh, in a stick. I did pick it up in a sale. It's uh, that game is it's kind of Smash TV's system, kind of an, a, a, uh, an alien style world. Uh, very gross and uh, grotesque and giga esque. Kind of mashed into one with the serial numbers filed off. Uh, I've seen it played, it's very good. I will get around to playing it at some point. I'm trying to remember what else is their game. Shot. And Big Frank. He laughed, yeah, we'll break Frank. He's the only character I I noticed with an identifiable British, British accent, though. Duke's ac accent kind of goes British sometimes, but, uh. I love this! I, I can't place anyone else's accent. Oh. This sounded like it went Australian just then. Yeah, it's uh... I think it... Yeah, I think it's on like the Mega Drive as well. It's one of those that's made its way onto the load of Weird and wonderful systems. Mostly extremely overpriced. But like, it's, it's normal prices on Switch and uh... Don't think Xeno Crisis is on the Switch. This is normal prices on Switch. Xeno Crisis is normal prices on things like DOG. By the way, you have nine lives. At all. Ever. And on hard mode you have five. There are ways of picking up lives. But there's no continue. I don't I can't remember the end of Evergrade. Evergrade? Evercade price. I don't own an Evercade. So. 
They, they got the tube really spot on. Eighteen pounds with Tanglewood. Ah, <coughs> they got Tanglewood. That's kind of a platformer with a fox. Maybe that's where the fox came from. Maybe it's Tanglewood fox. Snap to one spine for a while. He does actually shout out Spine Breaker when he does that at some at some times. <laughs> also, I am thinking of throwing out my hair specifically to cosplay this guy. Hmm, fishy. I've been cosplaying as Masaru from. from from uh, Live Alive, so it, it's a good, it's an obvious next next choice. I can't see myself getting in shape to look like this guy, but you don't have to be the same shape as the person you're cosplaying. find random jewels and stuff on the streets. All random intact food for that matter. Usually the pigeons steal one and, and everything else steals the other way before. It's, uh, Way before you notice it. Manchester has an underground, right? I thought it's got a tube system and a light rail system. It's got a, a tram system and a kind of local railway. No. Maybe I invented this Manchester underground. I don't. This is another thing that makes me think of Manchester. It's uh, these people definitely shop at Affleck like, Palace. Camden Market has some pretty cool stuff too. How the fuck did you lose that second to two? That second? Okay, I'm less good at this than, than I thought. Maybe just not concentrating because it's, uh, <laughs> it's just a stream. Yeah, I like his Odeo Bright impression as well. Wah ha 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 Or I'm just not as good with... Not quite as good with Miller as I am with the others. I just love showing off this. Oh no, that's cool as well, but it's not the one I was thinking of. Yeah, that's cool as well, but that's the one I was thinking of. Also, the boss of this area is very cool. This is actually known for its difficulty as well, unlike uh, Double Dragon. Uh, Guy, which is the last one I played, and the only one I've actually finished, you know, copious abuse of credits. The soundtrack's awesome. Uh, 
This is a physical copy of this, by the way, and uh, it did mention on the cover who did this soundtrack. Yes. Someone fairly well known. Get out of my face! I'm get, getting very, way too much enjoyment from stomping people when they're down. <laughs> Sorry, but it is hilarious. I'm grabbing people's hair. You can really play dirty in this game. You know, the last... The boss of the last game just randomly had uh, infinite molotovs, so I think we're allowed to pick people when they're down. <laughs> see what this boss of this area does. It's very cheap. RRB! I think it's supposed to be up. R and B, but I always read that as R R B. Which is kind of the the term R R B has kind of a personal history. Interesting. Interesting. Another insignificant specimen to destroy. That trick is not actually that effective. Yeah, very good. You teleported behind me. You always do the same thing. So I, so it's not hard to predict. It's not like I can't combat someone hitting you. Someone, someone being behind me. In a game where there is a specific attack for hit something behind you. Surprise! <laughs> But it does look cool, and I do not know, and, and I, I don't know how he does it, and uh, how they do it, and uh, that's some outfit. He's kind of the, uh, he's kind of like that weird, that guy who looks like Gollum in, Shen, in Shenmue. He's kind of, everything else makes logical sense. Who I got an E ranking. I usually get an S or an F, nothing in between. But... but yeah, he's kind of the equivalent of I think his name's Chai in Chenlu. In that everything else makes logical sense. And yeah, then there's just the scientist teleporting around. I don't know the significance of the rats, by the way. There are objects in this game that, that vary and give you an extra life. But, uh, there's also the rats. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to catch the rats. Yeah, that, that, was, a, that was an extra life, that photo. Uh, there's, there's rats in a few of the crates. And, uh, I don't know if you can collect them if you're really fast or stomp ground stop them. I've never managed it. Or if it's an achievement in, in one of the versions of the game that's got achievements to find all the rats. In hard mode, the previous stage also had the stuff that got chucked at you. But this is, this, this is where the real stuff that gets chucked at you goes. Starts, uh, starts turning up.
By the way, that that if it lands on you will instant kill you. As it looks like it would do. Considering you obviously can't see where he's going. Sushi and bananas, yum. That guy's gonna crit. That guy's gonna uh, kick those two, I was about to say. Yep. He usually fails. Nasty one, that one gets me a lot of the time. Obligatory spine breaker. He's, contra con he's contractually obliged to, to, to do uh... a. <laughs> this is the gentleman. I, I think he's supposed to be based off a wrestler, but I don't know. Wrestlers. But I think he's just. Millie's a bit slow. <laughs> Wahoo! Seriously, stop that, Miller. Also, your outfit looks stupid. Knock oh, him down. You're not Masaru Takahara. Anything like him, you look more like a. You kind of look like a cross between Max Morgan and Jackie Luke here. Yeah, I only know. I only know live alive wrestling characters, I don't know actual wrestling people. People say wrestling characters, I and mean, they are playing as characters, but. <coughs> wrestling celebrities. Oh, there. Bye bye, gentlemen. You weren't a gentleman at all. You were very uncouth and stupidly dressed. And now we're having the obligatory to destroy a car section. I like that this is the Tigre. This is the, the T1 GRE car, implying that the, it, this is the owner of the club's car. Yeah. Yeah. He was so, so happy! That's what I love about him. And now we're, we're gonna go and... Go a bit, bit over, a bit too far in the mud a bit. Oh, I absolutely love the the, uh, the final boss, the bosses of this stage. There are, there are two. Also ones I don't usually have that much trouble with, but I'm playing terribly.
There is a casual mode, which I believe does give you infinite continues, but I also don't think it counts as anything at all. This game does have little in-game achievements. I've got about half of them now. I think one of them might be to do with either the rats or the mysterious one-up creating objects. This pucker can parry punches and I really dislike it. You can't parry, parry being yeeted across the room, can you? Or being stomped. Oh, we just headbutted that one. Some characters do kind of look similar to yours and I do kind of get confused as to who's me at some points in the game. This club has this diamond flying around as well, must be a very fancy club. Rubies, I guess. Diamonds aren't red. Super gauge do uh, knock off a bit of your health, which is why I rarely use them unless I'm surrounded. Also, they're not quite as good for Miller as they are. The other characters do do make it, it is worth using them more. <coughs> but like his regular attacks are so just kill everything anyway. They are so kill everything. Concentrate, Doan. This this guy's a, a bit of a boss recolor. That's another. Uh, that's another life, but we uh, immediately lost one. So yeah, this is the first boss, but he's a chef. You know, his, his name is the chef. So you can tell he's a chef. Amuses me that people come out of the toilets. <laughs> Holy shit, an intruder, and I was on the bar. Louisa and Luana, aren't I? I have a minor level boss crush on these two. Let me just look at them. I assume by the uh, Brazil flags and the Brazilian names that they're yelling in Brazilian at me. Sorry, ladies, I don't actually speak Brazilian. That says Capoeira, I think these are, these are kind of like twin female Jeffreys. I always really like Jeffrey. The other characters can stomp them, but 
But uh, Miller is not fast enough to stomp them. <coughs> Did manage to get one in the. Uh... What is that move called? Like I say, I don't know ref. I don't know wrestling. The ouchy move. There's another rap. three lives but it's the only stage with exploding barrels as far as I know as opposed to the double dragon Gaiden which is obsessed with them <coughs> yeah, I do like this uh, I do like this, this style of game that's just very close to classic game, classic arcade games, but just with quality and life and slightly smoother graphics. Right. Really, but really, it's just touching up on something that we know and love. So, yeah, I think that's the standard super. That uh, I right, punch just at you somehow. Delicious pineapple. Ow! Fuck you! This is what I want Fantasy Star 5 to look like. I just want it to look like... Just look like Fantasy Star 4, but... Touched, like ever so slightly touched up in every way. <coughs> you know. I quite like that to be a story. I want it still to be set in our goal, but I would like a story for it other than Dark Force again. <coughs> I mean, Dark Force has got to be in it because Dark Force is in all of them, including the new one, including the false ones. Hello, we made it to the inside of the mansion. But, uh, I want to be something else that turns into dark, that turns out to be dark force the last moment, basically. Oh, we get to kill the great light. I still think that we we get to kill the great light would be a, a great a great story for a, a fantasy star. Unless they've already done that in one of the false ones, they might have done. Like, they made the great light out to be a bit sus. Ow. You didn't warn me about that one, you shit face in this game. False third. <coughs> the, the ones after Fantasy Star 4 that didn't look anything like Fantasy Star were completely different. I have strong opinions about Fantasy Star. I don't like any series doing. They would be great at just their own thing if they were not called Fantasy Star. <coughs> I would really like them to, to be their own thing and not be called Fantasy Star.
Yeah, I have made it to the final boss before. Yeah, as you see, that was not a particularly good playthrough, although it was better than all my previous uh, Miller playthroughs. As you see, I'm way better with uh, the lady I can't remember the name of. They would make a good spin-off series if, if Sega acknowledged them as a spin-off series and not just, and, you know, just made a few and then went back to mainline fantasy star. But, you know... are completely obsessed with Persona now, but they do make they they do acknowledge that it is not Shin Mega it is not Shin Megami Tensei and they do uh they do still make Shin Megami Tensei. And they even still make their other spin-offs occasionally when they remember to. Lately, they even remembered that every and Odyssey existed. I wonder if they do Trauma Center next. Either Trauma Center or do Princess Crown. You know, doing something completely new. I quite like completely new things as well. <coughs> as long as they do not intrude into past things. If Sega has just said, you have got a cool, a, a really cool sci fi MMO, I would, have, I would have been like, oh, cool, a really cool sci fi MMO. people in the freaking creation creation team did it well it is one of the create creation team that is uh currently in trouble with the law <laughs> Not Algolian law. We would have just left them in the desert. The sandworms to deal with. Little and tra inside the trade, trading with the trade. Okay, we don't put people in the we don't leave people in the sandworms for uh, for insider trading. I don't think we know what insider trading is, but it's not that advanced of civilization, but uh, we do for existential threats to the solar system. 
Got a little fraud if you don't. <laughs> against existential threats to his solar system, but then there was Dio, and, and okay, before that there was Latiax. And technically Dark Force is responsible, but you can't fit Dark Force in the courtroom. Well, you can if you put him in a box, but then you have to get him back in a box. Okay, I'm not doing any better as Claire. Maybe I'm just out of practice. I need to play this game a lot more. grab but it's uh, not actually very good at grabbing people that uh that uppercut is a, a type of grab i am just dying trying to do this it's uh I stop trying to do it Papyrus is a goofy little skull. Goofy little head looking at us. I think she gets up more stomps as well. Oh, she manages to. Bus. <laughs> that pose is cool.
I was idly wondering why this fat why this vendetta is the final one. And in the same way, why was Final Fight the final one? There were quite a few final fights. Now we used to be in Final Fantasy. With final fight. Shows you to be weak. Your analysis is completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> so that is slow. Surprise. <laughs> it's not a surprise if you do it every turn. If you have cool if you have cool teleportation powers, vary what you do. Now varying what he does. Sometimes he's teleporting in front of me and kicking. Do you know any other dudes except that kick? On this fucking scoring system. One day I will catch you, rat. I like most characters in this game's designs. Like, most people are, are dressed in something I think I would look cool in. Not the spike melt motorcycle helmet. Oh, Billy. Don't just fall asleep in the middle of a fight and expect me not to stomp on your face. What, what lowers my health as well. Yeah, I know special moves do, but I was not using a special move then. I think they just did damage to me and the game in no way kind of telegraphed that they did damage. Like I didn't flash or grunt or... Okay, that was cool. I haven't managed to do that before. That kind of whirlwind thingy. <coughs> yeah, that back kick definitely uses quite a bit of health.
trap. if they can survive you, you springing it. Then it's just you lining yourself up conveniently. Yeah, I think that... that those guys definitely just did a shit ton of damage, probably because of, they have knives. A more appropriate health pick up your sausage roll. You see a bunch of different styles of health pickup. I think you can even you can even choose what health pickup you get get in the menu. That might be that might be, might be confusing with Final Fight 4, which I also need to play more of. So master the art of Final Vendetta and then go back to Final Fight 4. Fuck, I got caught by it. Sassy drill with a bacon butty. I hate that thing. It's that one in particular that always catches me out. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. Knock him down! You could occasionally stomp, st stomp, stun lock him for quite a while. It's kind of amusing. Yeah, like that. He's not the brightest, whatever he's supposed to be. Ow! See, that's only an E rank, apparently. That would have been cooler. This game needs more ridiculously strong cups of tea and power ups as well. There's only builders around that last level, and there's no ridiculously strong cups of tea. Nice long chain. That's a, a very rare rank A. I think I have managed at least get to rank at least once now. <coughs> uh, actually, I don't think I've seen a rank D. Me that there are, because it's the UK there are no guns in the entire game even though criminals can get guns in the UK and, uh, and yet yeah, everyone seems to have access to explosives so just, yeah and about in the street corners apparently I mean, what are they just using dodgy fireworks
quite a fan of the guys with the battle shirts and the ridiculous hair. That's a good look. There's a short sleeve one and a long sleeve one. And I think they both look kind of cool. Jeffrey twins are, are so popular. The cool tiger. This is Club Tiger. That looks so cool, and I can only, I only haven't managed to do it by accident. Taking care of Chef there. Take this. I like the added detail that the uh, the men appear to have broken their bathroom. <laughs> mirror and the, the, the women have not yet broken their bathroom mirror. They may be ready to stab you at the moment's notice, but they're not uncivilised enough to break their bathroom mirror. on four lives and quite slightly better. Don't you yeet Molotov. I know you're cold fuse, you still may not need the Molotov. annoyed that the enemies in this never walk into their own weapons. Double dragon 
guys can very frequently walk into their own, their own weapons and just walk off walk off uh, drops that, that, that are enough to kill you. I did a woo! I think that was a uh, I think that was an extra life from points. Delicious roast. Person badly hiding behind the that wall. Look, the telephone box destroy. Why does this person have a telephone box in their mansion? Final boss. Why do those telephone boxes have phones in them? Red telephone boxes have books in? What? I, I don't get that. phone box that wasn't like scheduled for demolition and then forgotten about. It no longer contains a phone. Every telephone box has been converted into a box or what? I've not seen that. Cafes to just have books in that you they either will give away or will will charge ridiculously low prices for. I think there might be charity books. Well, quite a lot of supermarkets just have just have a charity book still. I rarely ever see anything I want in there. Good at charity shop. <coughs> thing locating. This uh, this jacket is a charity shop thing. Oh hello, it's uh. It's a certain annoying boss again. I think I think that guy's what I meant by baggy shirt and interesting hair.
It's probably lucky that the uh, explosives don't destroy the food. Let's get this over with. It's the final boss. Flashy looking gentleman. I do not know the significance of the timer, by the way. Oh fuck, I'm doing badly. I don't usually do this badly. Also, yeah, she does appear to be able to levitate. As well as her uh, arm armpit bol bolts of energy at you. Saw the final boss this time, and no, that was a, that was a high score. Yeah, slight spoilers. Final if you get the suit, I don't know if it's to do with his health bar or if it's to do with that timer, but he eventually turns into a robot. Or reveals himself to be a robot. Uh, do I want to play as the other guy? Show off his moveset? Uh, uh, I don't think I can be asked to be honest. It's getting a bit late now and yeah. Uh, it's, been <laughs> it's a bit of a shorter stream but I finished one game and uh, got very close to finishing another game that was a lot tougher. So I'm going to finish for now. Thanks for watching. Good night.